Iran is feeling the heat after first President Trump pulled the United States out of the nuclear agreement and now there were apparently these Israeli airstrikes on Iranian positions inside Syria. Now it's interesting because the Iranians officially have not commented at all on this matter. If you're watching uh, Iranian state television, they have been reporting that an incident took place inside Syrian territory, but they did not say whether or not it was Iranian or Syrian positions uh, that were hit and even Iranian state TV is saying that they're still waiting for some sort of comment from the Iranian government. So far, nothing has been forthcoming either from the government or from the Iranian military. But of course, all of this comes at decisive times here in the region and especially here for this country. A, a day and a half after President Trump pulled out of the nuclear agreement, the Iranians are wondering what is going to be next. They seem to be firing up the diplomatic machine. There was a talk, a phone call between President Hassan Rouhani of Iran and the French President Emmanuel Macron, where the Iranians are proposing that maybe the nuclear agreement could survive as a smaller version minus the United States. But they do say there still is a big way to go before that can happen. Meanwhile, on the streets of Tehran, of course, people are very, very concerned about the situation. People that we've been speaking to are telling us they are especially worried about Iran's economy. There's already been a big devaluation of the currency and a massive rise in the prices of a lot of goods. So Iranians really feeling the pinch after not just that incident took place inside Syrian territory, but of course, especially after the United States pulled out of the nuclear agreement. Fred Pleitkin, Tehran.